What's happening, party people? This is the next installment in the network marketing rabbit hole. I wanted to talk about the benefits and the takeaways from fully participating, excuse me, in the network marketing industry. So, um, a couple of things. You don't have to, to be 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or 100 hours a week. You can be, but it doesn't take that. But, but when you're doing it, you want to be fully engaged in the process. And here's are, are some takeaways. Number one, if you're someone who lacks organization, it will force you to get better with your organizational skills or hire someone who can do that for you and delegate. If you're not good with admin things, then you will be forced to get better and then to also know how to delegate. Uh, it, it teaches you communication skills, basic fundamental communication from one human being to another and really understanding where the other person is coming from. You, you have to have some level of empathy in order to have a successful connection with those individuals that you're wanting to do business with and or to purchase your products or services. So learning communication is a great benefit of participating fully in the network marketing industry. Leadership is absolutely probably the most important skill that you will take away. And there are levels to leadership. There are levels of responsibility. And that is contingent upon what you actually build and produce. Some people get involved in the industry of network marketing and they end up building an organization of uh, a few hundred people. So they, they don't have the same level of responsibility as someone who builds an organization that has several thousand. And then someone else comes in and they do hundreds of thousands. And then someone else comes in and they might have a million or two million people in their group. And those are all different levels of responsibility that you have to take on as a leader. You have to know how to communicate. You have to know who to push and who to pull, who to pat on the back and who to kick in the butt. And a lot of that is trial and error, but it is such an invaluable takeaway and skill set that you can cultivate if you are fully engaged and it will stay with you for the rest of your life. Some of the most significant training that I received in business has come from my involvement in the network marketing industry. Uh, <coughs> the, the ability to build a, a team from starting with one person and then two and then four and then eight and 16 and then a hundred and then a thousand and then 10,000 and then a hundred thousand and then, and then more. And, you know, watching that, experiencing that from zero to these, these astronomical numbers of individuals that I have a duty and an obligation to serve and lead and provide value to uh, in learning how to communicate with those individuals and, and how to stay in communication because obviously, you, you know, one doesn't pick up the phone and call tens of thousands of people individually. You have to know how to do that intimately, but do it in a way where you're reaching many people at, at one time. Uh, learning how to do conference calls, learning how to do Zooms, like these are invaluable skills. I can, I can remember having weekly calls and, you know, you're talking about thousands of people getting on a weekly call and being able to manage that and to deliver and serve and identify people's goals and dreams and give them a blueprint and put them on a pathway to create success and dealing with people's failures, dealing with people's imperfections, dealing with our humanity and all of our beautiful imperfections as we are human beings and knowing and learning how to traverse that landscape this is all part of the pathway of leadership that we learn. And one of the most beautiful things that I experienced in the network marketing industry was the people. It was the people for without question. One of the most frustrating and, and uh, um, challenging things that I dealt with at network marketing was the people, right? So it's a double-edged sword, but that's the, the process. And learning 
uh, how to cultivate greater emotional maturity, greater uh, mental toughness, greater discernment, knowing how to ask the right questions, knowing how to better gauge people that are presenting themselves to you. Because we all know, we all like to, to show, present to the world what we want the world to see, but eventually who we are will come to the surface. If you're around someone long enough, if you're in certain situations with somebody else long enough, that will eventually reveal itself. And if it doesn't, then part of our task as leaders is to ask the pertinent questions and read the situation so that we can get to the heart as, as close as we can to individuals because it's not, it's not 100%, it's not foolproof, but I've learned over the years in that particular industry how to really pick up on individuals and, and their temperature and their intent, their commitment, etc. So that uh, has enabled me personally to save a lot of time, not to waste time. I used to waste a lot of time with the wrong people because uh, I, 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 you, who you are well, is going to show up. So network marketing is a truth-telling business. It will tell you the truth about who you are. It will tell you the truth about who others are. It will tell you the truth about whose you are. And if you are not a person of faith, you will certainly become one <laughs> if you're really giving it all that you have. You, you, you can't do it by yourself. You can't, in my humble opinion, you, you're not going to reach the higher levels of success and achievement uh, without God's help and guidance and grace, period. Like, it's just not going to happen. Um, and if it does, it won't last. So... There, there's so many lessons that I have taken with me from my years in that industry and my experiences. And even in the work that I do now uh, as a keynote speaker and trainer, uh, as someone that owns an agency that we've been building, uh, it's still all people. I'm, at the end of the day, I'm dealing with people. I'm, I'm dealing with, with people's needs and wants and desires and knowing how to effectively communicate. And, I, and what I was able to do was take my skills as a keynote speaker and trainer before getting involved in the industry, and I really was able to expand them and grow them 10x uh, because, again, network marketing gave me a platform and enabled, it allowed me to travel around the world and train and teach and inspire people. It put me on international stages and uh, conference centers and put me before tens and tens and tens of thousands of people to do live events. That doesn't happen if I'm not uh, someone who is a top producer in that industry. So the relationships are huge. I have some of the, the, the closest relationships I've cultivated over the years have come out of that industry. Lifelong friendships that I've cultivated, lifelong uh, colleagues. So we're not necessarily, we don't hang out but I know if I pick up the phone and I need some insight or information, they're good for it and meet and vice versa. So being surrounded and engulfed with high achievers, multi, multi, multi millionaires, people that have done just record breaking things, it just expands one's mindset of what can be done and how to approach life and how to think about goals and outcomes. These are some of the invaluable takeaways that, uh, for me personally, I, I found in that space. So in spite of whatever the challenges that we had to endure, the benefits and the takeaways far outweigh the challenges and, and the disappointments and the betrayals and all of that. Um, and that's just a part of life. Uh, nothing is perfect. Any of you that have a job, it's not perfect. Any of you that are running your own business, it's not perfect. Any of you that are in network marketing or if you're in another industry, if you whatever you're doing, you know this. There's just going to be <coughs> hurdles and hoops that you got to overcome and jump through. There's obstacles there that you have to learn how to navigate past and over, under, around, or through. We're going to get it done because that's what we do. So I, I, I would always tell people that, Here's, here's my commitment. 
I don't know how much money you're going to make because I don't know your work ethic. I don't know if you have a, a, a high level of integrity with yourself. If you do what you say you're going to do, do you keep your commitment to your commitment? I don't know. But here's what I can tell you. If you just plug in to the systems that I've put in place for our, our organization, that the company's put in place for the growth of the overall team, <clears throat> if you just apply yourself and you show up every day, a year from now, you're going to be a totally different person. And you'll see changes in your life, in your home life, in your work life, in your personal life, in your spiritual life. If you show up with integrity and high intention and you have a heart and a love, a genuine love for people and wanting to see other people do well. And, and that's the beauty of it. Does it mean that there are people that, that don't come in who are selfish and they just want to take advantage of people and make and do a money grab. Of course, that, again, that's in anything. But when you come in with the right heart and mind, you will find that you will often attract like-minded people. And if you're very fortunate, you'll come under the mentorship of such leadership uh, that can help fulfill your, your journey and make your pathway more significant and bring out those parts of you. So, <coughs> Excuse me. These are some of the takeaways. These are some of the benefits of participating in the network marketing industry. Um, I'm a, a person that is very optimistic. I'm very, very, very positive. Now I'm not. You know, I don't do happy talk. I acknowledge what the problem is, but I'm not defined by it. I acknowledge my mistakes and my shortcomings and my failures, but I'm not defined by them. And I really tend to look for the growth opportunity in whatever the experience is. I tend to look for uh, what's the, the good that we can extract from this. And if you have that type of energy and spirit, you'll, you'll, you'll get a lot and you probably have gotten a lot for those of you that, that are currently or uh, uh, looking to possibly participate in the future. So those are some of the, the benefits and the takeaways of participating in the industry full out. Okay, and full out could be again 10 hours a week, could be 20 hours a week, it could be 80 hours a week, could be 100 hours a week. It just what matters is that whenever you're doing it, you do it full out. Have an awesome and amazing day. We're going to be wrapping up this series pretty quickly. Uh, the next installment, we're going to be talking about the bad and the ugly <laughs> of the industry as well. All right, see you soon.